Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Dame and this is Dame Over, and today we have an unlock guide for a secret weapon skin, the awesome Phantom Program skin for the MG1917 LMG. I'll talk you through the whole process step by step and keep it as simple and as quick as I can. I've seen lots of people posting videos trying to get help with the Morse code section in particular, so hopefully this will help you complete that step quickly and easily. So if you find this video useful or entertaining, make sure you hit that like button before you go. So let's get to it. It's not actually that difficult to complete overall, but it will take a little bit of time. If you can follow a guide like this one step by step, then you should have it done in about 30 to 45 minutes. And I'd suggest keeping a pen and paper handy as you'll want to write a couple of things down later on, but that will become clear in a little bit. So on to step one, and you'll want to find yourself an empty lobby in the Conquest game mode on one of the In the Name of the Saar DLC maps Albion. And the easiest way to do this is by looking in the server browser. Simply change the filters so Albion is the only map selected and find a server with zero players in it. If you're struggling to find an empty server, try expanding the regions you're searching in. When you get onto the server, you should spawn as a support player as you can resupply yourself with grenades, which you'll be using very shortly. Start by spawning and heading to the large radio tower here, which is closest to the D flag if you're actually playing a game. Underneath the radio tower is a bunch of these green crates and one over to the side here too. Throw a grenade or two at the wooden boxes underneath the radio tower to destroy them. And now get up close to the green crates and you'll see that some of them have these panels on them which you can interact with. In total, there are nine interactable panels. That's not really a word, but we'll go with it anyway. And step one is to interact with each of these once. The order doesn't matter at all. Just make sure you've hit all nine of them. Step two is to head to the east to this house with the blue doors on it. Open this door and in front of you will be a wooden chest of drawers. Make sure you've resupplied yourself because you'll need to blow this one up too. When you do, it will reveal a switch behind it with the Phantom Skull logo just above it. You'll need to interact with this switch once and once only. Step three is to head back to the green crates that you used in step one and interact with all nine panels again. Once again, the order that you do it in doesn't matter, just make sure you've pressed all nine of them once. On to step four, and you'll need to head back to the house with the blue door again and to the switch with the Phantom Skull logo on it. This time, interact with the switch four times in a row. You should leave a small gap in between each interaction just to make sure you've done it and make sure you stop moving before you press the interact button so you can hear the click clearly. For step five, you'll need to head back to the radio tower for the final time. Either crouch or go prone next to the radio tower and you'll hear a short Morse code message being played in a repeating pattern. This code is five letters long and uses the letters between A and F and will keep repeating in a sequence. This sequence is entirely unique to you and this particular round, so unfortunately copying someone else isn't an option, which means you'll have to decode it yourself. Okay, so this next part might take a bit of time, so make sure you stay in the server or the whole thing will reset. The Morse code will change and you'll have to start all over again, so make sure every now and again you're wiggling your controller or your mouse so you don't get kicked for being idle. So this next part is all assuming you don't know Morse code, so if you do, congratulations, you'll be much quicker than I was working this out, but if you don't know Morse code, what you'll have to do next is work out what the code actually means. There are a few ways to do this, so I'll talk you through a couple of them, the easiest of which is to record a clip while you are next to the radio tower. On PS4 and Xbox you can use the inbuilt DVR for this, and on PC there are quite a few free options, including Shadowplay and OBS. After doing this, you can submit it to the Battlefield Easter Egg Discord and ask for help. There are loads of friendly and willing members, so it shouldn't take too long to get the help you need. And I'll leave a link to that in the description. These are the guys that spent the time working out how this Easter Egg works, so they know what they're talking about. The next easiest way to do it is a little more complicated. You'll need to take your recorded clip and isolate the audio. If you've recorded on your PC, this is really simple as it'll already be there. From your Xbox or PlayStation, if you haven't got a capture card, you can upload to YouTube directly and then download it, or sign into the Xbox app on Windows 10 and capture the clip again from there direct to your PC. You'll then need to use a free program like Audacity to open the file and view the audio. 
I've left a link to Audacity in the description as well, as it's the only one I've used to do this, but it is possible with other audio editing software. First of all, you'll need to make sure the audio file can be read by Audacity, so if you can't open it straight off the bat, you'll need to convert your audio to a .wav file. There's a free and very easy to use website to do this with, which again I will link to in the description, called online-audio-converter.com. I use this all the time in my video recording, so I can personally vouch for it. When that's done, open up the audio file in Audacity. I had to put a compressor on mine first so I could see the sound waves properly. And first of all, what you'll need to do is change the view mode to spectrogram, which is immediately alarming, but trust me, this is how it's supposed to be done. Then split stereo to mono in the same drop down menu. Next, drag select the audio and add a normalize effect. This will allow you to see the Morse code as though it was written down. And this is the part that takes everyone the longest and is a little bit tricky. So to give you an idea of what you'll be looking for, my code was as follows. Dash, dot, 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 dash, dash, dot, dash, dot, dash, dot, 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 dash, dot. The pattern then repeats itself, so you'll know that those are the five letters in your own unique sequence. Next, you'll need to use a translator website for the Morse code. The one I used is in the description next to every other possible website on the internet, apparently. And my code came out as B A C D F, which again was unique to me and in the round that I was playing in. Make sure you decode it and write it down because you'll need it for the next step. Alternatively, you can write down the dashes and dots on a piece of paper and work out what your code is that way. The only tricky part is working out where the pattern ends and begins. So if you do this, make sure you double check as the next step won't work unless the code is correct. So back to Battlefield 1 and step 6. Head over to the lighthouse, which is near the A flag on Albion. Near the lighthouse are six buildings and each of them has a lantern in it. To complete this step, you'll need to destroy all six lanterns. So I'll show you where they are in each building so you know what they look like and what their locations are. Like with the green crates, the order of it doesn't matter. When that's done, head inside the lighthouse and you'll see on each floor at various intervals are six switches on the walls with lights above them that you can interact with. Each one of those lanterns you just destroyed activated one of these switches. And to make the next step easier, we are going to label them alphabetically from top to bottom. Just for clarity, I'll show you each one. So at the top, we have A. The next one down just above the ladder is B down the stairs from the aforementioned ladder is C, down again is D, down once more is E, and finally on the ground floor is F. Remember they are labelled A to F from the top to bottom. Right, we're coming into the home stretch now and on to step 7. So on previous easter egg discoveries, I should really call them Easter egg hunts, shouldn't I? So yeah, on previous Easter egg hunts on the In the Name of the Sar maps, the following code was discovered and you need it to complete this Easter egg. If you want to know more about it, then look up the code on the forums or on the BFEE Discord that I mentioned earlier. But for now, knowing what it is won't really make any difference. So the code is as follows. C A E E B. Then there's a break of five letters, followed by F E. A, A, D, D, A, D. So what you have to do to unlock the secret skin is to input this code using the switches in the lighthouse with your unique five letter code that you just decoded, filling in the five letter gap in the middle. So as an example, the entire code for me, including my unique one, reads like this. C, A, E, E, B, followed by my unique one, B, a, C, D, F, then F, E, A, A, D, D, A, 
D. So I'm going to demonstrate now so you can follow along to make it as clear as possible. And remember, each switch in the lighthouse is labeled from A to F, from top to bottom. So let's start inputting the sequence. Remember, the first five characters are the same for everyone. So we've got C. A. E. E. B. And now my unique five character code. B. A. C. D. F. Then the rest of the code, which again is the same for everyone. F. E. A. A. D. D. A. D. After you've input the entire code, you've got about 30 seconds to get to the top of the lighthouse and interact with the big light at the very top. Make sure you do this quickly or you'll have to input the code all over again because it will reset. So when you're at the top, interact with this smaller bulb hanging off the side of the large one and then this will happen. There will be a big smoke bomb and a mysterious monster sound that was in the other parts of the Phantom program in Battlefield 1. And now you have finally unlocked this really crispy new secret weapon skin for the MG1917 LMG. I will personally have it equipped every time I use the MG1917 as it's a pretty lengthy process and I don't think that many players will take the time to complete it so I would suggest that you guys do it too. And there we have it, that is how to unlock the secret skin for the MG1917. What do you guys make of the skin? Just like me, do you think it's crispy like shredded duck pancakes? Make sure you let me know down in the comments below. So if you had a good time, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button too. Feel free to share this video with whoever and wherever you like. And until next time, that's game over. Peace. Thank you.